Alright, how's it going, gentlemen? It's Christopher, and welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Mode. Today we're going on to the Austrian Grand Prix, but first, before we actually do that, uh, I have something to show you guys. So, if y'all remember, uh, in season number one, uh, I did a special livery for the new Mountain Dew Melon Rush that was released around that time. And, uh, we ran a special scheme, ran a special fire suit, uh, for two races. And, uh, it was a pretty, pretty unique car. Uh, so today, I decided, let's do another one, except let's see what other kind of Pepsi product, uh, is new, I guess you could say. And this one's not necessarily new, but it is coming back, and it's actually Pepsi Blue. Now, for all of you that don't know what Pepsi Blue is, Pepsi Blue is a drink that was heavily promoted back in the early 2000s, was discontinued in 2000, but was discontinued in 2004, for having a highly controversial coloring agent, which was banned in most states, and because of that, Pepsi Blue had that coloring agent, and it needed to be taken off the shelves because of the banned coloring agent. Well, almost 20 years later, Pepsi Co. has decided to bring back Pepsi Blue in a better form than ever. Now, Pepsi Blue had an aftertaste of cotton candy, and uh, I'm not 100 it tasted like raspberries, I think, or blueberries, I'm not 100% sure, but at, at, at first it tasted like a fruit. And then it tasted like a cotton candy, a flavor of a cotton candy, of course. And uh, they decided to bring it back, it's going to be the same way, and we decided to run a special scheme for it. Now, this livery is probably not going to be the best livery that I've done, apart from the Mountain Dew Melon Rush that I did last season. But this was the best I could do, and if you look at the bottle, I mean, it's just blue. It's Pepsi Blue, so what do you expect? So... Going to overview, and here's the car. Again, it's not 100% what you guys were probably expecting. But let me just say this right now. I was, I've was i been trying to find a good livery to have, like, the blue on top and the black on the bottom. And if I could find that before I enter the race, then so be it. But uh, I've been trying to get this scheme. I've been trying to get a scheme that works and currently this one works as well, and it's just all blue. Now, again, if I could find one that's like, you know, that has like that I can be able to put like blue all around but black on the bottom, that'd be great. So I'm gonna try to do that, and if there isn't any other versions of this of a livery that I can use for this car, so be it. We'll just use this one. It's all blue anyways. And we got new fire suits as well. Uh the car actually looks pretty damn cool. I don't know if I want to change it, but yeah. So let's actually go over to corporate and uh show you guys what the fire suit is looking like. Now, the fire suit isn't that special either, but I did the best I could. So, here they are. Here's the fire suit. It is as dark as I can get, and I decided to put black stripes on it just because why the hell not. And uh, I think it looks cool. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I think I did a pretty damn good job on it. So, yeah. But uh, after this race, actually, uh, we'll have to. Or no, after the British Grand Prix, that's when we'll have to renegotiate a contract with Nick here uh, whose market value is at 5 million to be believe it or not uh, but last race was in Canada Lewis Hamilton ended up winning it Nick DeVries got his first career podium hell yeah and we got third after starting last so we keep that podium streak alive from Belgium season number one <laughs> and uh, we just we got we are still getting these two upgrades in hopefully they're coming in later down the like at some point this week and uh, Racing Points actually closed the gap on us in the chassis. So I'm hoping I can get these before Austria. If not, it's fine. We're still doing pretty damn good in the aerodynamics. Uh, but yeah, so we're actually getting... It seems like Mercedes and Racing Point are actually catching up pretty quickly. So I did buy a chassis build time upgrade. And marketing will be spec 2. So that's good. We have an invitational event. I don't know if I'm going to do that. We'll have to see though. Oh, we'll skip ahead. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. So, jump ahead, get all that stuff, got the chassis, bearings does come in, and uh, I'll actually go on ahead and, and, and do this one, because I actually kind of want to do it, so I'm going to do this invitational event, and I'll meet you guys afterwards. You'll understand. <laughs> Morning, boss. This week's income from the sponsors is cleared, and we're making good profit against our running costs. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> So, we got that done, clearly. <laughs> so now I'm just going to skip ahead two more days. 
get the stuff, 1.8 mil, and the uh, points that I need for this. And I can still rush it in and get it before the Austrian Grand Prix. The hope is that I can get it in. So, boom. Put us further ahead. More weight, redu weight reduction. There we go. And uh, this did come in, so that is good. Now we just need this to come in and will even be better on the ERS side of things. So the lightweight real rims, according to what it says, comes in the first. The rotor speed comes in on the 25th at least. Okay, let's see if we can get the rotor speed. Fuck! Didn't we get the rotor speed. Issue on the production line earlier this week. So the God damn it. Development package for this weekend ah! Is... God damn it. Well, hopefully we can get the... Uh, the lightweight real whims. Please give me the lightweight real whims. Damn it! A major issue on the production line that's back to so back! For this has Carl, shut Check your mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god. The Ferraris have passed us. Oh. Uh -huh. Shit, man. Well, we'll go into the Austrian Grand Prix weekend. God, that sucks. Well, it seems like we're going to have to buy the, both of these back. I was really hoping I could get the lightweight, real, lightweight wheel rims in. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Okay, well, the others came in. Marketing is now spec to, hey, look at that. We got more people. <laughs> so, I'm going to hop out of the race weekend, do practice, and do qualifying. I'll meet all of you guys all in the race. And uh, hopefully we can get a podium for uh, Pepsi Blue. Here's a to open, at least. <laughs>
which, to be honest with you, I think is a lot better uh, than doing the two-stopper and then just switching for no apparent reason. So, I do have a feeling that the rain is probably... It, it says light rain. I don't know how bad it's going to affect us, but uh, it's, it, it's like in the middle of the race. So, it's probably going to affect us a little bit or not a whole lot, but... It is supposed to drive back up, and then we can continue on with the uh, the rest of the race. But, yeah, so. Got a little bit of rain. That's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah. So, it's unfortunate that Nick didn't get into the top 10, but uh, into the top 10 in qualifying. He qualified, like, 14th, but he got caught out by a bunch of guys that were in front of him during that point. So, he got 14th, but he at least went up a spot because of Sainz's uh, penalties. So, yeah, other than that, uh, let's hop into this race and let's uh, let's see uh, how this is all, all going to play out, per se. So, let's do it. That's a decent start. Good job. Going into that right hander, it uh, freaks me out a little bit. Thought I got some front wing damage, but thank God that I didn't get that. <laughs> All right, well, P2. Jumped Botas. What the hell? Safety car, safety car. No overtaking. Oh. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Well, something happened to my teammate because he's in the pits, and something happened to Lando. Well then, all right. This is our first safety car since... When was the last time we had a safety car? Was it, um... Was it Mexico? Was when we had our last safety car? Not 100% sure. We were catching Perez, and now that's just kind of all gone. I have a feeling that Nick ran right into the back of, of Lando. I don't know why, it's just all, I just have a feeling that he did. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. I'm not even that fast. I'm like barely on, I'm like half throttle. Well, this means that the rain's gonna come quicker. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the jump on Perez. Like coming, like coming to the restart. I'm not sure if that'll work 100%, but. Depends on if the game's just like gonna lock me in of some sorts in a like directly behind Perez. Didn't get the jump on him. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Perez got a really good jump though, give him that. So it could, may as well use some fuel, why not? The rain just came down. Not affecting us too bad. OK, 
Okay, even though we're seeing cars struggle in these conditions, if we pit for Inters now, we're gonna be too slow and we'll burn them out. Make the best of it for the time being. I'm slipping and sliding all over the place, dude. <laughs> Still got DRS open. Wow, look at that. I don't know why I went for that. I don't know if I missed my breaking point or what, but that was not the best of ideas. We need to get past here. Use overtake. Use overtake. It is kind of difficult in this on slicks in the wets. All right. Yeah, like I'm having to go down another gear. That tells you that this is not good. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. A new strategy is available on the MFD. That's what I've been waiting for. Confirmed. That tells me everybody's probably going to be pitting now. Unless you know some guys want to do what they did in the Dutch Grand Prix and completely fuck it up. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh yeah, it got bad. It got bad real quick. I'm fucking struggling. Perfect. Holy shit, holy, holy, holy shit. All right, seems like everyone's been and Hamilton just got held up in the pit. All right, Ocon and Leclerc, the first two people that I knew would do something like that. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the Magnuson did it as well. Dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. One of the alphas, Kimmy. Kimmy's got a 10 second penalty. Holy shit, dude. Where the hell did you get that from? Yeah, it's pouring. What are you doing? This rain clearing up is about 10 minutes, so just keep your concentration out there. Couldn't have kept my concentration if Magnuson was trying to block me. Okay, Declaring the Ocon came have in. Now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. Yeah, I know. Nick is in the pits. Nick in the pits. Nick stayed out too? Why? Oh, yeah, yeah. If Vettel's P5. So if he get points, he gets points today. I'm just gonna say this right now: the next NASCAR game, the 704 Games makes, it better have like rain, rain races at like Watkins Glen or Sonoma or just any road course in that in NASCAR heat in the new NASCAR game that's coming out this year. It better, and I'm saying that because I actually like rain races. That just scared the shit out of me. All right, well, my DRS does not work. It's fine. D we don't even have DRS active, so we're fine. Well, the rain's starting to stop. I think it died off a little bit. Yeah, the rain stopped. Still wet, clearly, but it died off. <laughs> I'll say that much. Uh, DRS just got enabled. A new strategy is available on the MFD. You just gave me one. Understood. Yes. Copy that. Wait, what lap 19? Oh yes. That's because that's the lap we're on. Alright, here we go, boys. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Get in the grass a little bit. Nice. Okay, okay. 
clean, perfect stop. Botez came in as well. That is good. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We gotta pit at least, like, one more time. Go. Go now. Okay, you only have to stop once now. One stop left. Wow, that went better than I thought. We got out ahead of Hamilton. I'll say I'll take that any day of the week. I just checked and I saw that I have tire. The second set of softs that I'm going on to is used, so I'm probably going to switch it to mediums because I have like a new set of mediums and not another new set of softs. Thought I had an extra set. I guess I don't. Oh, I have ZRS back. Nice. These fans are about to have a great battle for the lead here in Austria. You have to be shitting me. How do I jinx that so badly, dude? Well, and that just caught me off guard and I just lost time. Come on, regain composure. Perez has just posted the fastest lap of the race. Rip battle again. Come on. Okay, clear. Now that's how you take the lead in Austria. Pit window open. Alright, this is the last one setting. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. We're gonna keep pulling on them. Right, we're coming in. Let's hope this medium strategy is the right call. There is a stay now. Now for a male who's coming in. Don't know if we put on another set of sauce, but I'm not sure. Go, go, go. Stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Alright, there we go. There's another car off? Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Okay, slow down, slow down. You're kidding your delta me, right? is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. I can't I can't believe that. That may have just screwed me right there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The virtual safety car just benefited Perez. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. All right, we gotta go, go, go. Come on. Did I just give the game? Just probably gifted the win to. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It may have just gifted the wind to Perez on a silver fucking platter. Oh my god. You're fucking with me, right? I'm just losing more and more time. Last lap. Oh. <sighs> It all was well, and then I made the call to not go on a U set of softs because I thought it would benefit me. Clearly, it hasn't. I don't even know how bad the tires would have been. I just, I wouldn't know. I'd have to see, but I'm frustrated right now. I've lost races before, especially the US one in season one, but this is more annoying than that one. 
I'll take it. I'm fucking frustrated. A victory for Racing Point. The team will certainly be celebrating tonight. Talk to me, Ant. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. The Racing Point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork and a well-deserved first place finish. Well, congrats to Perez. He... I knew Par I know Paris had a fast car, a faster car than mine, but we still could have contended for the win against him. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalize on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from Racing Point this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Yep. Again, I don't know what to do. It just... I did everything. I thought I played the right strategy, and apparently I didn't. And I didn't win. I keep Podium Streak alive, but I... I'm fucking baffled. I'm baffled. I'm fucking baffled at how that just didn't play out in my favor. And Hamilton adds fucking insult to injury on the fucking fastest lap, which he's not my rival, but... Fucking adds insult to injury with beating me by just a tenth. <sighs> well, I guess it's safe to say we could check out the other stand. We could check out the other drivers, so. Um, Gasly P9, Nick, four stops, pitted under the first, under the first, uh, or after the first lap, came back to finish P10, so good recovery from him. I think 12th I think 12th is Nicholas's best career finish. I'm not 110% sure though. I love how Charles is getting points for Ferrari and Seb has yet to score any points. <laughs> I think Ocon finally got his first points this season, so that's pretty cool. Uh George 17th. Guan Yu Zhou. Fucking 18th. He beat Kimmy because of his 10 second time penalty. And then you got Ricardo, Vettel, and Norris at DNF. And Norris didn't even make... Norris didn't even complete the first lap. That's unreal. That is just... That's just unreal. Congrats to Sergio. He deserved it. Check out the standings, though. See, where, see how it all shakes up here. So, still a full race ahead of Hamilton. Paris jumps up to fourth. Ocon, I, I, actually, Ocon jumped up to 14th. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see if he passed his teammate. <laughs> and uh, we still have the same six. That old Geo, Latifi, Magnuson, Russell, and Joe that haven't scored any points. Racing point pass Red Bull. Us at PepsiCo Racing are 26 points behind Mercedes, so that's not too bad. It could be a lot worse, to be honest with you. And Renault's actually one point down from McLaren, so... Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we keep again. We keep the podium streak alive, but I wish we just could have gotten a fucking. I wish we could have won. I wish we could have won. If I felt, I do feel like I made the wrong call switching to mediums, but I don't know. I don't know what was and what wasn't the right call. So again, I'm just baffled. I'm baffled that I wasn't able to play the strategy right. Ultimately, I paid the price for it. I don't know, interview questions, okay. So we beat, so we beat Hamilton 4-3. to three. <coughs> Jesus. And, uh... We are claim 15 after that, uh... Race that we did. The Invitational one. 
so that's pretty nifty. Nick went up a bit as well. 1.63 million of the banks, that's good. Uh, somehow no damage deduction for Nick, even though he got a front wing damage. Now we're at 14.55 mil, so it's pretty good. I, uh, just to warn everyone, I did spend the resource points on the upgrades I wanted before Austria, and now they'll come in uh, excuse me, before the British Grand Prix. So that all works out. It all fucking works out. Calm your horses, everybody. Calm your damn horses. All right, so now we go on to the British Grand Prix, and uh, we'll run this scheme again for the British Grand Prix uh, because we did it last season with the Mountain Dew Melon Rush, so we'll definitely do that. So let's do funded team event away and sponsor advertisement. So. Uh, we lose money, gain resource points on that one. We get a claim for the team, and we get $45,000, so that works. And, uh, yeah, the two upgrades I, I, I wanted are now in, uh, which is just this ERS upgrade and this uh, chassis upgrade, which will put us further ahead of uh, Racing Point. And, um, yeah, so we're still doing good in the R&D depart department, so... Not gonna really worry about it too much at the moment. Um, but yeah, Ferrari's actually getting back up there. They're the fourth best team now behind Racing Point and for and behind us, Racing Point and Mercedes. Alfa Romeo and Haas are still ahead of Renault and McLaren. Yeah, Renault and McLaren still seem to beat both of them. Alfa Tauri is still doing pretty good, and Rebel's still doing pretty good. So that's good all the way around. So yeah. How many is that in a row now? <laughs> so from Belgium to Abu Dhabi, that's what, nine? Belgium, Italy, Singapore, Russia, Japan, US, Mexico, Brazil, Abu Dhabi, so that's nine. And then I'll sh and then ten for Australia, eleven Bahrain, twelve Dutch, thirteen Monaco, fourteen Azerbaijan, fifteen Canada, sixteen Austria. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think we're the only driver to have come this close to being on the podium this entire season. Next to, like, Michael Schumacher whenever he was with uh, Ferrari and their dominance was a big deal. So, the funny thing is, like, Leclerc is carrying the load, essentially, for Ferrari because how many DNFs has Vettel gotten? Vettel's on a three straight DNF streak. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> He's had four DNFs this season. Four. And. Holy shit. That is unfucking real, dude. Like. I'm a Sebastian Vettel fan. That is unreal. Like, that's just, that's just unreal. So, on July the 20th, Nick's contract is up. So, that's after the British Grand Prix going into Belgium. So, I'm going to be honest with you. They were just going to keep him. There ain't no point in changing it now. So, I think that's just a better way of going about it. But, yeah, so, pretty lackluster in the, in the facilities. Well, not lackluster in the facilities. Facilities are doing pretty good. Uh, it's nice to have marketing be spec two, <laughs> and uh, we could try to get personnel to spec three. Don't know if that would be a good move, but oh, wow, a lot of things aren't a good move. But you know what? It's fine. But that's gonna wrap it up for me today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification button down below for more. Next race is the British Grand Prix, for which, for whatever reason, is probably one of the more difficult tracks on the Formula 1 calendar, and just... Tires are just a huge issue there. And your car sometimes can be a tank around the British Grand Prix, but you never know. Hopefully the British Grand Prix goes well for us, and we can just move on past that point, but... Again, we'll run this scheme, or this livery, for the British Grand Prix, so... This this car will get some more on track time, trust me. <laughs>
So thank you guys so much. My name is Christopher. I'm out. So have a great day. Peace out. And I'll see you all at the British Grand Prix. Take care, everyone. And goodbye. <laughs>